Hi guys and welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well. In this video I'm going to show you how to throw and trim a seater chooser. So let's head over to my wheel and I'll show you how it works. I use about 700 grams of clay and as you can see I wedge it a little bit and then I make it into a nice and round ball. This makes the centering go much easier. Before I start throwing my first clean my bed, I just use normal sponge to do this and I'm throwing on a plaster bed. I put some water on the bed so the clay will stick to it and then I can start centering. Centering means that you push the clay to the middle of the bed. So that's what I'm doing here. To make the centering go a bit easier, you can try to cone the clay up and then push it back down. This really helps by centering and you can do this multiple times until you think your clay is fully centered. I use my thumbs to flatten out the surface of the bowl of clay and then when it's centered I push the clay down because I want to start with a white base because the seater juicer I'm going to make will be very white as well so it's easy to start with a white base of clay. Now you can start making the shape, just press your fingers down in the middle. This is going to be a bit of a different part than with a normal shaped pot, because you should push all the way down to the wheel or the bed that you're throwing on, so there isn't any bottom left. Now you can push the clay to the side, but don't push the clay too far, because the wider you make the hole in the middle, the wider the middle part of your juicer will become. Now the shape is opened up, you can grab a wooden knife to get rid of any clay that's still left on the bed or the wheel that you're throwing on. Getting rid of this clay makes the trimming go a lot easier. I use my fingers to smoothen out the clay on the inside. And then I start to split the clay into two different parts. One part is going to be the middle part, which is like the juicer part. And the other part is the outside, which is going to be like the bowl around it. So make sure you have more clay for the part that's going to be the bowl, then you have clay for the middle part. You can make the bottom quite thin in this part, but don't press all the way down to the bed because this is going to be a bottom, but you can make it quite thin because I'm not going to trim a lot of clay off this place, but I will show you that later on in the video. I always start with the middle part, but if you need some extra space for your hands, you can first push the outside part more to the outside. <laughs> And then I try to make some height in the middle part, so I'm going to make it into a little cylinder. So I just press with my sponge on the outside and hold my fingers on the inside and make an upwards movement as you can see. And the clay will get thinner and higher.
I use a dry sponge to go all over the form one more time to get rid of any slip that's still left on the form and this will give a nice and smooth look. And then I use the same wooden knife as I used before to clean the bed. This makes it easier to get your juicer off the bed when you're going to trim it. And now comes a little bit of a scary part because I'm going to make a lip. Um, I use my left hand on the outside and the index finger of my right hand on the inside and I pull the clay outwards as you can see. I also like to pinch it a little bit so it gets a bit sharper which will make it easier to pour with it. The last thing that I do is try to make the form as symmetrical as possible. So for this I also use a sponge and I just press a little bit to get the shape I want. And then you're done throwing so you have to wait one day before you can start trimming. To trim a citrus juicer I always like to use a pot that I've already made myself. I use this so I can trim the seat juicer upside down because the middle part is higher than the side so I can't really turn it upside down itself. So I use this pot with this bed mat that I have from Xeem Tools. I use this because this will keep your juicer in one place while trimming. I try to place the juicer as much in the middle as possible and then I just start throwing the wheel but as you can see the juicer isn't fully centered so I use this trimming tool to make a little line so I know which side I need to move it to get it more into the middle. You can repeat this multiple times until you think your juicer is totally centered. Teacher's juicer is finished. That was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it and you learned something new from it. If you're still left with some questions, please let me know in the comments so I can help you with it. If not, I hope to see you in the next video, which will be next Friday. So stay tuned, have a nice week, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!